you know what I've not really been talking about on this channel, almost to a criminal level? Portal 2 mods. There are a bunch of them out there already, like Portal Stories Mel, Aperture Tag, and of course, Portal Reloaded, which I did cover. So how about we dive into a Portal 2 mod again for a change? And specifically, a mod I found that hasn't been talked about much, if at all, but does show a lot of great promise. I'm talking about Portal Revolution, a mod created by Stefan Heinz, aka Tewan. Not to be confused with another mod called Portal Revolution that hasn't been heard about since 2011. They're not related as far as I can tell. Why this specific mod? Well, just look at the maps I'm showing on screen right now. Looks promising, right? Yeah, I thought so. So let's get started. Lambda Federation. Alright, I'll be quick about the following announcement. A new sub-community just launched over on Lambda Generation. We now have a proper home for Source Filmmaker stuff. From artwork to animation and resources for both Source 1 and Source 2 Filmmaker, we got it all. And the whole place is moderated by people you know from the Source Filmmaker subreddit like Atlas. Oh, and Harry101 UK is even here as well. If that sounds very interesting to you, then make sure you sign up for a free account so you won't miss a thing from this sub-community. I put a link in the description below. Enjoy! Alright, so what is Portal Revolution exactly? Well, it's a fan-made modification to Portal 2 that takes place in between Portal 1 and 2 in the dilapidated bowels of the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. GLaDOS is out of action, but the cores residing inside of the facility know very well that that situation won't be like that forever. She will rise again, it's an inevitability. So one core called Sterling has an idea that, if executed properly, will deactivate GLaDOS forever. And it's on you, the player, to help Sterling execute his idea. However, as the ModDB page puts it, you might learn that this plan of Sterling's may have unforeseen consequences. Pretty interesting story for sure, but the story isn't the only thing that's interesting about this mod. The mapping work for it also looks absolutely incredible. There seems to be even some graphical features that weren't present in the base game. And that's correct. And to tell you exactly why that is correct, let me take you all the way back to when this project originally started. Stefan Heinz, or Tewan, originally started the project all the way back in 2016. When he started out, the project was directionless at first, but after some time in the oven and after some time to think, the mod finally gained a proper direction around 2019, which is when the first update was posted to the ModDB page. Some more time and development passed, and in 2020, a lot happened for the project. They gained a proper story, they released two gameplay videos showing off a puzzle mechanic involving only being able to use the blue portal, and another one involving the nomadic diversity event, a puzzle element from Portal 2 that was cut very late in development. The team was also expanded in 2020 to about 4 people, and also, they got an official Steam page. You can wishlist the mod over there right now, by the way. But the biggest thing for the mod by far was… an engine branch switch. The reason why the project looks so graphically impressive is because the Portal Revolution team gained access to the source code of Portal 2 and CSGO. But they did not gain access to the source code for these two Valve games just for Portal Revolution, but for another project they were working on at the same time called Portal 2 Community Edition. A community-made version of Portal 2 that aims to make mod creation for the game a breeze with new features and improvements to the tools. Because of this source code access, the team was able to implement lots of new features such as physically based rendering, Panorama UI, which is a way better new Valve developed UI system that CSGO also uses, and Cascade Shadow Maps, which are the same kind of sun shadows that CSGO and Black Mesa uses. Super exciting. The mapping for this mod already looked pretty impressive before, but it now looks even better with all of the above mentioned features and more implemented. I mean, look at this, this is some of the best looking Portal 2 mapping work I've seen yet. In August of 2021, the team expanded even more with now 7 people helping out with the development of the project. They have now also amassed over 700 custom models, 1600 materials, and 2 new particle systems. 
Not everything was made by themselves, though there have been a lot of model contributors over the years now, but that's still a pretty impressive number. And it was also announced that the game now has a release date for December 2022. However, in another media update that came out this year, this release date has been moved to early 2023. Hey, it's a community-made project, these things happen. It was also announced this year that the writer for Portal Stories, Mel, Mr. Doozer, has joined the team to help with the story and the dialogue for the mod. Now at first, not much was going to change about the story. Taiwan was already pretty happy with it as it is, but it did end up getting some polish and overhauls here and there. Another gameplay demo was also released showing off some of the prototype test chambers, and yeah, it's, it's looking really good. And that kind of brings us to today, with the mod looking absolutely incredible so far, and with a release date of early 2023. I'm actually kind of baffled about the fact that not many people are talking about this mod. I looked it up on YouTube and, well, not much there besides Stefan Heinz's own videos. So I hope this video will give the project a little bit more traction. His own videos have pretty decent views, but... Nah, it can be more, so give it some love if you're interested. I left a link in the description below so you can check out the ModDB page for yourself. There's a lot of cool stuff hidden in these posts that I didn't touch on, so it's definitely worth a peek. I also put a link down below to the official Steam page. That way you can put it on your wishlist if you'd like to. I'd like to wish Stefan Heinz, aka Tewan, I have no idea how to pronounce that, I'm so sorry, and his team the best of luck finishing up Portal Revolution. I can't wait to play it once it comes out.